Hi guys, I recently went on a vacation to Singapore and I decided to get a Fendi 2 jewels. I've been wearing it for a month now and I thought I'd give you a review about this bag. I got this bag at Marina Bay Sands. I went to the Fendi store at the project first just to find out that there is one grill available at Marina Bay Sands. And the sales assistant over me to have to deliver to the orchard store. And I had to wait about uh, 30 minutes with no additional fee. I declined and decided to go to the Marina Bay store the next day as I'm going there tomorrow anyway. So I went to the store and it was there and I'm so excited. I've been wanting one since 2013 and I finally get uh, gather the money and building up the courage to find a buy it now. So here's the dust bag. It's pretty plain. Um, it's a light gray cotton and it has a small Fendi in the bottom. The, the back is pretty plain as well and it's a drawstring dust bag so it's really good to keep the dust away. And here's the bag! Yay! I really really love this bag and this is the only one left in Singapore practically because uh, the orchid store only stock the spring color you know the pastel colors one they have pink, they have purple and they have yellow as well they have the nebula blue and the blue lagoon so they have pretty good stock there but not much of the neutral color and I really really wanted the gray so I was in the Marina Bay Sands and I got it I'm very happy so the padded to your measurements with the gold hardware it's 20 centimeters width and 20 centimeters tall and 10 centimeters depth it's a nice compact bag because it's not too small but it's definitely not oversized either you know it's just it's just right for me the top handle is only 11 centimeters from here to here so you can easily slip in your arms but you can fit it to your shoulder because it's too small and the strap length is 50 centimeters from up here to here and it falls on the top of my thigh but so it's, it's quite long actually to use it in my shoulder but I really like it when I use, use it as a sling bag it falls exactly on my hip which is uh, the way I like it because you know you can reach everything easily so I decided to get initials my initial stamp on the tag because you can do that with fakes and super fakes and it's it's free of charge you know you don't have to pay anything to get it stamped but you definitely have to wait for about a day but I was very lucky I only went for about an hour of or so and when I crossed by at the store again they told me that they have my tag ready with my stamps uh, so the initial is SM of Stefia Maria. It just adds personal touch to your precious bag and you know that you're the only one who has this bag. So the gold hardware is embossed with Fendi logo everywhere. So at the bottom we have one to two four ribbons. It's embossed with the Fendi logo, which is double F. The back also have uh, five rivets, but there's no Fendi logo here, only here, no logo here, uh, Fendi writings here, but they have embossed here, double F here, and the back says Fendi Roma. There's a Fendi writing here, so when you see, when you're using it crossbody, people can see the Fendi. Which, is, which I think is really neat um, There's also Fendi logo here Another Fendi room at the back And it says double Fendi Nothing on this map And I don't know if 
you can see it. I don't think you can see it, but there's also a double F logo here at the end of the zipper. So you can fit your iPad. It's an iPad 2. I had it since forever. It fits in perfectly. And you still have so much space left, but you can't put too much in it, otherwise it snap one. The bottom won't snap. You can even fit a small umbrella and a water bottle. Ta-da! So, for something that is called packet, it actually fits a lot of stuff, which is a nice surprise, because I can use it as an everyday bag. So it's a bit heavy, definitely, but it's empty, it's not too heavy. My Prada Saviano Double Stick is definitely heavier, but this one is not so much, but you can definitely stretch the leather if you bring your iPad every day. So I only bring my iPad for a Sunday service because I put my Bible inside here. So I need it to read the Bible and the sermon. But other than that, I usually just bring umbrella, water bottle, and a makeup case. And I can still easily snap it close. And ta -da! I'm mostly using it as a crossbody bag because it's easier for me to reach everything. But I also like it spreading it handheld. You know, it gives a much more elegant appearance, and the gold is definitely making it more, more elegant, I suppose. So I recommend you to buy this definitely if you like a compact bag and you're a practical like me. You know, I I don't really buy, I don't really bring lots of stuff with me, so it's a great everyday bag. It's definitely worth the price. So this bag is priced at two thousand five hundred and thirty Singaporean dollars, and after tax refund, I got it uh, for around two thousand and four hundred. I'm very happy with it because it's actually cheaper than the Indonesian store. So that is my review, I hope it might be useful for you who is on the market of buying Petit Dujours. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.